seems legit. Hello, my legitimates, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this weekend, I have been playing with my laser cutter, and I have made this fabulous multi-layer horse. Uh, so if you would like to see how I have done this and all the steps for it, please stay tuned. All right, so the whole rest of the video will be a voiceover. I've just put this in uh, to show you a couple of layers of how it cuts. This is MDF board in three millimeters. You don't want to do anything too thick or your 3D layer will be huge. Um, and you can cut all layers out of one piece of this board, which is about $11. So it costs $11 to make the horse. Uh, and then I flip it over and do the other side. And I'm trying to get closer and closer to the edge. So there's a framing option to do that for you so that you can waste less of your stuff. So these are all the layers all together. Now we're going to start painting from the bottom. So I'm just marking where we're going to paint on that bottom layer so I don't have to paint the whole thing. Um, as we get thinner and thinner, I do paint all the layers because it's easier. But this bottom one doesn't need the whole thing painted. So then we can move on to the next layer. And I've got to mix colors. You could also just buy them all. And you have to, on these layers, paint in the gap parts. Uh, so I actually found it easier to do that first and then paint the whole thing. No, paint the whole thing and then do it, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so you paint in the gaps last. I actually would suggest that you use a spray paint. It would be way quicker than this takes me. I've sped these all up to times 100, just so that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, but it did take a while to paint. So next time I do this, I will be buying spray paint in all the colors, because then I can just go outside, spray it, it'll take five minutes, and the whole thing will be done. Not that I regret this process. This was just, this was really fun to do. And it was nighttime and cold, so I couldn't have actually painted this outside in the rain anyway. So now we're going to layer up our glue. And I'm just spreading it out so that it's not bulky anywhere. Um, and then line them all up. And then I'm going to take these mini clamps and I'm going to put them on all the extremity parts. So I'm holding them to make sure that they're all lined up. And then I'm just going to do all the edges with these little clips. If you don't have clips, you could of course use a book. Um, and so then it dried for 10 hours and this is it all finished. You can see here that I still need to paint the very edge with black just to make it all uniform and then pop a little thing on the back of it so that I can hang it on the wall. But it's all done and I think it looks fabulous.